spus tu, dragă trăguță, Mi-ai cerut ciora cu panglicuță, Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea la tale, Să-ți cumpere neica și sandale. I only jumped uh, to the uh, youth aliyah or the experience in Palestine, in Eretz Israel, uh, ahead of my time, uh, to, to give a background as to Romanian uh, classmates and, and really uh, 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 the Holocaust that befell uh, the Romanian Jewry, which was so different than the Bulgarian Jewish community. Tell us in a few words how. Well, uh, whether the king of Romania, by the way, he was a playboy. King Michael, yes. Yeah, and he had a Jewish mistress. That's right. And he traveled with her in his railroad car all over Europe, uh, doing things that normally will not befit a king, but at least he saved uh, uh, many, many of our people in, in Romania and in, in the conquered territories that were given uh, to Romania by the Germans uh, as a bounty for joining the Axis. Just like Bulgaria had uh, Trace and Macedonia right. and Dobruja, which was taken from Romania and given to Bulgaria during the war That's right. by Hitler, uh, Romania also received territories, which was like a payoff for being for the alliance. part of the Nazi alliance. That's right. So, um, but and then the Russians came and they reshifted again and they cut up the countries and yeah. Yes. Yes. And established new independent uh, countries like Moldova. Yeah. And all that yeah. uh, that would be another story. That would be another story. But going back to uh, my uh, experiences, after the almost murder of my father in December of 1943. It took him three months to recuperate and when we were asking ourselves why did the fascist police arrested my father and this was really their way of killing the Jew who had created uh, the saving of the Jewish community of Bulgaria by broadcasting the news that in two weeks or three weeks, uh, February and March of 1943, we're going to be deported. Well, some obviously someone kind of ratted him out because it was all within the Jewish community. So right. obviously, even within the Jewish community, there were nefarious people. And also, Belev wanted to know why he had failed. Mm -hmm. Because Belev, the chief commissar, and Beckerley, the, the German, uh, had signed an agreement, right. and this agreement uh, did not hold. Right. It became a void. So he wanted to find the the, yeah. the, the, the person so, of the party to so punish them. My father became the culprit, right. and he almost paid with his life for what he had done. So, in March of 1944, uh, remember, we were supposed to be exiled in March of 43. Then we were resettled in the small towns of Bulgaria. Like Tergovište. Like Tergovište. And the king's strategy was 100% correct. Uh, because he said, I need those Jews to build highways and bridges and whatever, infrastructure. And if you want to kill the Jewish community, you concentrate them rather than disperse them. In other words, the Warsaw Ghetto, for example, the Warsaw Ghetto became, or the Krakow Ghetto, whatever town you want to pick up, became concentration of Jews from hundred and, and uh, small, communities. Uh, small communities into one place. From one place you could kill them easily or transport them to the 
work camps or extermination camps or labor camp. work labor camp that eventually became also after four months or six months of survival you became initiated and you became sort of like uh, a skeleton and was ready for you to go and join the 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 the, the gas chambers uh, and the crematorium okay. so in Bulgaria the opposite happened we were dispersed. We were sent to hundred little nothing towns to speak of as part of the need to work and the need to be labor for the Bulgarian country. So and that was the initiative of the king who understood the effect of dispersion exactly. much e more difficult to destroy a group of people than to bring them all together. Exactly and the Hitler wanted from King Boris two things. One is put the Jews on the trains to the east and the second thing was give me soldiers, Bulgarian soldiers to fight the, uh, to the fight Russia, Russia the east, army yeah. Yeah. and the king said uh, I cannot give you any soldiers because the Russians are saviors, liberators and it's true because the Russian army liberated us in 1876 against the Turks, the uh, Ottoman from, Empire. Yeah, against the Ottoman Empire, the Turks. And how can, as a matter of fact, the biggest monument uh, then and today is uh, the, the, the Russian liberator that liberated us from the Turks. And how can we now turn against our brothers and sisters That's right. of Russia, first cousins and all that. Well, we can add that the Romanians also played an important role together with the Russians to defeat the uh, Turkish, Turkish Empire. Empire. Yeah. Correct. So, um, uh, all those countries uh, rebelled against the uh, 500 years of Turkish domination. That's right. And became a uh, new country, sort of. Independent. Independent. So, in 1944, as soon as my father recovered from his injuries and broken bones, he literally, and my father had a lot of money, he had a lot of money. As a matter of fact, in the 1930s, my father was so prosperous that when my uncle Solomon made Aliyah in 1934 from uh, Stara Zagora, which is the town, my father came from Nova Zagora, uh, uh, from Stara Zagora and Nova Zagora, they were like sister towns, sister towns, and all the Asas, uh, the Asa family came out of this, those roots, which was originally in in Izmir, in in in. In Turkey, in Turkey yes. and then moved to Bulgaria. So you uh, have? Would you say that your family has uh, Turkish roots? In my my, the entire Bulgarian Jewish community has Turkish roots, because Turkey was the empire that, dominated. that accepted us in nine in fourteen ninety two. Now, when when King is uh, Ferdinand and Queen Isabella issued the the Inquisition or uh, gave permission to the Catholic Church of Spain to uh,
time and the British mandate. And this will be a, a very exciting story because uh, not only were we, did we survive and were liberated, but were also like reborn. That's For right. me, uh, coming to Eretz Israel, to Palestine, to the uh, country of our forefathers and foremothers, was like a rebirth and renewal. Thank you very much, and uh, until the next time. Well, Rabbi Isa, I have to tell you how excited I, I am becoming just to get a, a taste of uh, all your extraordinary life moments, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. It's all an extraordinary experience for me to be next to you, and I'm sure our viewers, wherever they may be in the world today and tomorrow, they will be able to relive through your stories their own past and their own family's past and understand how important it is to know history because if you don't know history you do not know how to handle things that will come in the future so for that I'm very grateful to Rabbi, Rabbi Haim Asa we're here in Fullerton California on a beautiful beautiful afternoon on uh, Thursday May 9th 2013 and shalom. I, shalom, and I thank you very much for your technical uh, no knowledge no. and expertise, because without you, this, yes. this would have not well, taken place. Thank you to Samsung uh, for the good phones they provide. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on in. Hello. Hello. Shai mai vrem, shai mai vrem drăguță, Ana, Ca să te-nbrac mai cona hramă. Să-ți cumpăr, să-ți cumpăr cercei mai Ana, Dar eu n-am de unde mai coadară. Auzi, dragă fata, nechi dragă, Aseară colivă ta miceană. Și acum nu sparale, Să-ți cumpăr sandale, Buzunarele sunt goale ta Mai apoi trecuță Încă o băncuță Și băui în colinituță ta